Jerry Jones' birthday. Happy 82nd birthday yesterday mm -hmm. to uh, Jerry Jones. And what was supposed to be a game that got everybody back onto the bandwagon, right? The back onto the, the train of the Dallas Cowboys after beating the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. Everybody's feeling comfortable. We're good. We're, we're back on track. We beat the Steelers. We got, some, we got the Detroit line. We want to make a statement. Sunday was a statement by the Cowboys. Just the wrong statement. <laughs> when you get beat 47 to 6, uh, 9, I'm sorry. Nah, I gave them a, yeah, 47 to 9. nine. I'm sorry. Don't, don't discount hey, this. Three they, they, they didn't though. get to double digits. I'm sorry. Yeah, right, I'm <laughs> saying. I mean, when you look at it quickly, you look like it almost you flipped the 9 upside down. It could have been 6. Well, but look, lexic, I mean, maybe, <laughs> you know? I'm just giving it to you real right now. Um, the Dallas Cowboys didn't win the football game. And I, I know we can start with the Cowboys first, but let's switch it over to Detroit because I want to give them their props. They need it. They deserve props in how they've played. This is a football team right now, the Detroit Lions. Arguably, we can discuss, are they not the best team in the NFL right now? Ooh. Right? Like right now. We're six weeks into this thing. Are they not the best football? Do you tell me a team that right now is better than they are right now? even though they have a team in their own division who's undefeated, what Detroit can present? Or is it just that we saw them dismantle the Cowboys and we're like, uh, that's different. They're much better than we expected. What, what, what is it? Is it Detroit? Is it more about, <clears throat> excuse me, more about Detroit or more about the Dallas Cowboys are not who we thought they were? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think it's both, for sure. <laughs> I'm also just curious, TJ, you've been talking about this a lot. Like, mm -hmm. who did we think Dallas was, My I guess, point, at the end Chris. of the season? Um, but they were a really good team. Look, this is a team that's won 12 games yeah. three years in a row. Uh, they've been really, really good under Mike McCarthy. Dak is really good. CeeDee Lamb is really good. Got really good players on defense. For some reason or other, just can't do it in the playoffs. And for some reason, also... Really good home team traditionally in the last few years. Last few years. Terrible yeah. at home this season. Uh, but for me, this is, says more about Detroit. Look, okay. I know you're out a couple defenders, but that's not going to. Maybe it's 27 to 9 yeah. if Micah Parsons <laughs> and Dexter Lawrence play. Yeah, don't not matter. 47. No. More on the offensive side of the ball. Like scoring nine points is just it's, it's insane. inexcusable at home. And I think Detroit's the best team in the NFL right now. And, and it's okay to say that. It's and I okay. think it's okay to say that. I think <laughs> we need okay. to, we need to be talking about Jared Goff for MVP. Uh, talk about Jamison Williams. My God, like this was the breakout we were kind of hoping for yeah. for this kid uh, in the off season. Not to mention all oh, the Sam Laporta finally gets involved. Yeah. That probably helped people out fantasy wise. <laughs> yeah. But the run game is awesome. David Montgomery, we talked to him last week. Yeah. He scores a touchdown in every single game. And he got paid this weekend. And, right. Man, and, good you know, for him. And if you good thought for him. maybe he'd be lax, he got his money. Oh, no. He went out there like he was still trying yeah. to get that contract. And doing Disney celebrations after I mean, scoring. Yeah, He's doing I, I, I like Detroit as number one <laughs> for power rankings if people are going to do that this week. I, no, no argument whatsoever Correct. if you put them number one. So, and, and the thing is, Kirk and Chris and Mike, they're pulling out these plays that you would think that they would try to <laughs> save for the playoffs, right? No. It's like they've got a whole thick playbook of, of gadgets and tomfoolery. I haven't seen this many tricks gathered in one place since HBO used to do that show about the ranch. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they're just tricks all over the place. You, get, you know, like, what, what is happening? Like, this yeah. team is great. They can run the ball. They yeah. can throw the ball. <laughs> <laughs> the only downside is, of course, what yeah. happened to their best defensive player, a guy who we all love on this yeah, show. Of course. That yeah. was a downer. As a Cowboy fan, seeing Aiden go down yeah. hurt more than than. I don't. Yeah, I don't even think it's as, as a Cowboy fan. I think as an NFL fan, seeing Aiden Hutchinson go down, you know, trying to and got the sack on the play, by the way, uh, but yeah, goes right? down and 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 uh, apparent uh, leg injury, a tibia, broken tibia, mm -hmm. that's reported by. Uh, the Detroit Lions. He had successful surgery. They don't have a timeline on his return uh, for Aiden Hutchinson. But the one thing I did hear, and this is if the Detroit Lions make it to a Super Bowl, there's a possibility that he could be back no way. for that Super Bowl. That was reported. Really? I saw it thrown out there that that's I mean, a long ways away. I mean, trust me, I was up this morning typing in tibia recovery, mm -hmm. right? Monday morning. Like MD, that's that's what I was doing. You ever do Kirk that? You MD? go to Kirk MD, baby. Was, <laughs> Kirk MD. Kirk MD. Uh, tibia recovery. What is that? And from what it says, it says to say. 
between a four to six, sometimes eight month recovery. I look at where we are now, October. You get him into the middle of January, well, that's only early five. February. Yeah, I mean, it's a possibility. I mean, I saw T.O. come back from what I thought was the Yo, worst yeah, injury I mean, I'd ever seen that's right. and was the best player in a Super Bowl, by the way. True so knocking, knocking. I will, uh, you know, holding out hope for one of the best defensive players that like, was on, I would say, putting his name in the hat for sure for Defensive Player of the Year this year. But that's the Detroit side of it. Let's get to the Dallas Cowboys side of it. I tried to wait what, as long as I could. Aiden, just to show how dominant he is, he has seven and a half sacks on his own. Yes. The entire Detroit defense has seven and a half sacks. Oh, yeah. Losing him, it's going to be interesting what it does to this this defense because they are tailor made to win the Super Bowl right now. Yeah, they're tailor made to win a Super Bowl. There's, and this is the way the NFL works too. And I, it's crazy that this things like this, it's unfortunate circumstances for Detroit Lions and Aiden Hutchinson, right? But just Hassan Reddick woke up this morning and has so much value that he didn't have about three weeks ago. Right. A month ago, two months ago, right? Hassan Reddick's been holding out from the New York Jets since he was traded over from the Philadelphia Eagles. He had no value. Nobody needed a pass rusher, a elite pass rusher. And all of a sudden this morning, I hear the reports. He signed with Drew Rosenhaus as his agent. They've already been in no, contact. No with way, teams. really? Oh, yeah. Of oh, course yeah. he did. Yeah, of course <laughs> he did. What a genius yeah, oh, move. reported this this morning. <laughs> oh, like, a genius move. move. A genius move. Think <laughs> oh, about yeah, it. And how great. quickly wow. did it all come together? I can tell you this. If I'm Hassan Reddick, and this is where my history in the NFL and being a player, you never want to see bad things happen to good people. But unfortunately, the business of the NFL is it keeps on moving. And yeah. Hassan Reddick sees someone's misfortune is like, I need an agent because guess what? I've got value that I didn't have last week because if you're the Detroit Lions, you're saying we need an elite pass rusher to try to give us something that Aiden Hutchinson gave us in the little bit of time that, you know, he had this season. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going with that. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.